Hello friends, welcome to session on more Android. In this session, I am going to describe creating or writing custom generic base adapter which can be implemented in Android this view. Before moving forward, let me introduce myself. I am Alok Gupta. By profession, I am a software developer. I develop in all three forms which include desktop, web and mobile using VC++ and C Sharp. I use Desktop as handler across different programming websites. You can reach me on Twitter. My handle is that's alok and you can email me alok at mvps.org. Now moving back to session. <clears throat> I already posted detailed step-by-step -step article for link could be found in description section of this video. Now let's view. Let's view is not as simple as in ASP.NET or MFC where you just need to attach data source to make item available inside it. In Android, you need to create row view and assign data to it and and this view you have to uh, link it with list view there are four type of inbuilt view supported by android first one is simple list item one which contain only one text per row okay second is simple list item two which contain header and contain format third one is two line list item is similar to list item two but with smaller font last one is activity list item it's a similar to list simple list item one with image icon. See, these are the four images of the list view type inbuilt in Android. First is simple list item which contain only one item or one text per row. Second one is simple list item two which contain two item per row. One is a, a header, second is a content type. Third one which is similar to simple list item two but with smaller font. You can see it here in simple list item two we have some margin at top here and bottom. But not there. And last one is activate list item, which has contained one icon with text button. This graph is directly taken from the menu website. So, without further ado, let's start the menu studio. I am using starter edition of this demo, which is freely available for download from the menu website. Now, for disclaimer, till date, I am not associated with the menu in any way. I have started building mobile app in Mono Android as it uses C sharp language for development and learning curve for developing application for mobile, which will less due to my family familiarity with programming construct. Now let us create a project. Let's provide some default name called list item. Now you will add a uh, model which will be act as a uh, item source or item which contains string which will be shown in each row v of list now it's time to add our model class we'll add one shisha path class which will act as our model database let's name it percent for and i just copy the Code I created this first info which contain three properties one is name, other age, and third one image ID. Now our model is ready. Time to include base adapter class. Let's add another Android class by name uh, mono base adapter. Make it public. Drive it from base adapter. Oops. Info implement it. I created class mono base adapter, which is I inherited from base adapter with a generic drive of parse info. We are going to implement all the members here. Before doing that, we will add one constructor which will take two parameters one is activity and list of data to be shown here
we will going to assign uh, context and list in person for value to local variable let's create them in get item id you will return incoming argument back to caller since we have no parameter yet with this list person info get view i will tell you later get uh, count return, return number of element in our local list person view in person for this overloaded we just have to return the right height index most critical part of the space adapter which is get view function get view function come with three parameter position or type in in con containing item portion or index in a row and preview contain reference to the view where control view finally attach now based on positional we get item from which we we'll like to show the view for doing that we just get the item equal to this we already coded for that position okay now we will check whether convert uh, view contain something or not if it's if, if, if null we simply inflate the uh, list to list item view here like this contact context dot layout inflator dot inflate here we get android dot dot resource dot layout dot to item list people null and now we will put the name and age from our item to this layout can with you for that we will first find the type control and then update the value for doing that we what we do we use uh, find view by id to get that point text view since these are android inbuilt resource so they have their own id for them android dot resource dot id dot text one text equal to item dot name text one would be the main header and text two with the content of you can say footer And we will return this view back to caller. Now this actor ready. I come back to main activity layout. This is my main activity layout. I add a list view control to it from here. I just delete the button, which is no longer visible to us. Save it now in our main activity of CS class. Just remove the code. We will create one function which will provide some default data to our first info list. Let's create it. So, we will do create data model. Uh, let this is our since we are not using count we can delete it
let's put some data here add two more data items and return this now our uh, pulse info data model is ready and uh, now we'll find the list control of object and uh, will assign newly created to it so for doing that we we'll just use find uh, view by id method to find the control adapter mono base adapter which is our you this which is the activity calling it and our this person info now add item click even for this view we will write toast display click name on screen we will add a new toast which will display the item clicked for that we will send uh, current activity then the text Once complete, now build and run. See, we can see three items in the list. I just click on the second one, and here, oh, it's toast. So, this is the end of our article. That's all, guys. This is a new beginning in Mono Android series. If you have any question or comment, please. Email me at allocator.mbps.org or you can post your comment at the bottom. This is the link to my article which is step by step introduction or tutorial to uh, writing generic based adapter which is posted on codeproject.com. Bye.